Here at the Federal Shooting Competition in Valley, there are no limits on live ammunition. I've been using this gun since I learned to shoot. I went through military service with it. We were born in the same year. I've had that for a long time, I would say for 20 years. The shooters here prefer Swiss precision weapons and the ammunition that goes with them. The ammunition business is flourishing. Most production is carried out at the Rueg munitions factory in Thun. Swiss television was given a rare insight into the defence contractor's facilities. Bullets and shells sell well. Rueg is the European leader in small calibre ammunition. Its ammunition divisions had a turnover of 334 million francs in 2014. In Thun alone, an average of 700,000 shells is being produced every day. Yes, we can say it's going well, but there are always new challenges we have to tackle. And the market's changing a lot. The current challenges include military budget cuts and the strong Swiss franc. But small weapon production is not doing so well. New assault rifles are now only produced in limited series, and only a few small manufacturers are still in business. Daniel Wies, president of the Swiss gun manufacturers, explains. Compared with previous years, small arms production has suffered a sharp decline. One of the reasons may be the quality of Swiss weapons. The owner of a Model 90 or 57 assault rifle, for example, doesn't need to replace it after just a few years. That's a testament to how durable they are. Gone are the days of the thriving Swiss arms industry. One big beneficiary has been manufacturer SIG, which became the official supplier of automatic assault rifles for the Swiss Army in 1956. During the 20th century, SIG produced more than a million assault rifles in its facilities in Neuhausen. The last big order for 450,000 Model 90 assault rifles was over 10 years ago. In 2000, San Swiss Arms took over the SIG weapons division of Neuhausen. Last year, half of the workforce there was made redundant. While the production of small arms has fallen drastically, it doesn't seem to have had an effect on ammunition. As we are in the ammunition business and doing business at an international level, we are not affected by this reduction of this market sector. The Swiss ammunition industry is still in high demand, but the situation could change if, for instance, the State Secretariat for Economic Affairs were to impose restrictions on exports to conflict zones. But at the Federal Shooting Festival, the competitors have other concerns. Here, what counts are the target scores and the camaraderie.